one of the things that we tried to do when we said, look, if we were going to take a kind of values-centered approach, if we were going to take a stand on values, which is so easy to say, how about taking a stand on values that not everybody feels comfortable taking a stand on? Well, now, now you're talking. So one of the things that we did, and you'll go be going through some workshops that are connected to this this afternoon, we, we wrote out a set of principles. We called them principles. We called them defining principles because we wanted to write down stuff that not everybody would write down. One of them is question the status quo. Question the status quo. If that's not Berkeley, I don't know what is, okay? It's just, you know it if you spend any time here. It's, it's all around you. I know whenever I've worked with people, I just love the habit of mind where I know your first thought is there's got to be a better way to do this. I love working with people like that. And you know, we've all worked with people where it's like, gosh, have, have you ever had that thought? I mean, it's, it, it just, it's just sort of like <laughs> not where you're coming from. I love people who think that way. Berkeley wants to attract people that think that way. And that is not what every organization is willing to tack to the to the masthead. Just isn't. Second one that we wrote down was confidence without attitude. Without attitude. Confidence, yes. Strivers, bring them on. We are a business school. Bold aspirations, absolutely. Don't want to dial that down at all. But true confidence comes without arrogance. And that's just something we're willing to take a stand on. We're willing to take as firm a stand on that as we possibly can. And we think that's important. Students always. We wrote down students always. Will we understand in our last job, will we understand when we're at that end point of our career that we still have a lot more to learn? Because that's easy to forget. It's easy to forget that we've got a lot of developing to, to do, particularly when we've taken on an identity, a persona of somebody in, uh, in, a, in a, a heightened position. I was talking to Paulo Tulini not, not long ago um, about this. He's, uh, as, as you know, Intel CEO. He's one of our alums. And he said, Rich, I can't tell you how many people we hire at Intel from business schools generally around the world. Way too many of them arrive thinking they've learned all they need to learn. <laughs> we don't like that. We're not sure what's happening in business schools that's causing that, but it's not, <laughs> it's not that helpful. So students always goes way beyond lifelong learning or other, other things you've heard again and again and again. The last one that we wrote down, and I'll conclude on this, is beyond yourself. Beyond yourself. What we mean by that is you have a sense of stewardship for something beyond you and your career. And that one's very, very important. That one's very, very important. I was just speaking at Skydeck earlier this week. Skydeck is a startup accelerator. It's a joint venture between the business school here at Berkeley and the College of Engineering here at Berkeley. And we were talking about entrepreneurs. Do entrepreneurs want to do well financially? Of course, human beings want to do financially, well financially. Is that what really drives them? Not that many of them, actually. There are bigger things they're trying to get done. They really want to change the course of something. Come up with something nobody's done. But that, at the end of the day, and that's where the deep passion comes from. So beyond yourself is a big part of this school. We think it's a big part of leadership. So rather than even call these defining principles of a school and think interesting or not, these are leadership qualities, in our view. These are leadership qualities. We want to attract them. We want to develop them. We want to expect them of people that we connect with as they go through their lives. We want to hold ourselves to these standards. No one gets these exactly right, of course. They're aspirational. I hope you get a sense for what those principles are about today. I hope you get your own thoughts about what path bending in your life to you means and how you'd like to do that. And I hope we can all engage in these things together. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. <laughs>